everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time my name is kai and today i have a zillaboo haul for you so zillaboo is another korean japanese nail product supplier i believe they're located in new york i don't know if that's actually their home base but i know they have a store there i actually ordered all of these products way back in december but then I got really sick, I couldn't do voiceover for a while, and then I started coming out with other videos, so it's taken me all the way till now to actually do the voiceover and the editing of this video. But I hope you enjoy watching me swatch and show off all of these polishes. So the first thing that I got was a number of brushes. I had wanted some really high quality liner and nail art brushes, since nail art is what I mainly do. I work in gel and I make press-ons, so... The first one here is this leaf gel liner. It's the large one. And the benefit of actually doing this video far in the future after I've received these products is I have used most of them at this point. This leaf gel liner has really become my go-to liner brush. As you can see when I pull it out of the package, it is so incredibly thin. I used to use just like, you know, cheap liner brushes that come in sets from Timu or Amazon. And while there are still some that I use to this day, I haven't found any that are quite as thin as this one. It also has its own cap, which I'm really loving because then I can put a little bit of base gel in it and keep it fresh uh, and put the cap on it and not have to worry about it curing. But it is so, so thin. So nice. That's the comparison of, again, just like a cheap one I think I got off of Timu or something. And compared to the leaf gel one, it's like three times as thick. And I thought that that previous brush, the pink one, was already pretty thin. So if you're looking to get yourself a really nice liner brush, I definitely recommend the leaf gel brush. Now, if you don't know anything about Zillaboo, they are higher-end Japanese and Korean gel products and nail art tools so don't expect cheap prices um everything is quite expensive but if you can catch it on a sale like all of this i think i ordered on a packing day sale right after christmas so it was 25 percent off or something like that it's definitely a great deal this one here is the myth Milo art brush number four this is just a nice rounded art brush if you've seen my swan nail art tutorial this brush is really good for doing like the wing effect that I do for that set. It's just nice for covering larger areas. It has a point to it. It is a rounded brush. So depending on how much pressure you apply, you can have a thinner line or a thicker line. So it's good for filling in larger areas and doing bigger pieces of nail art. This is their signature brush. I haven't actually tried Myth Milo's gel. I do want to. They look really interesting. A lot of them come in the little, like, almost look like square makeup palette, and they're thicker. They do really nice glitter gels that way. I haven't tried them, but I've seen a lot of people give them a go, and they seem to really like them. So maybe in the future, I will purchase those. I'm really loving these brushes that have their own caps right now. I think they're just so much easier to store. So all the brushes I'm buying now come with their own cap. Then to get into the polishes, I am going to start off with the First Street polishes. This was my first time ordering First Street. Actually, this was my first time ordering a lot of Korean nail art products. I'd always wanted to. Financially, I wasn't really in a place where I could afford a ton of them, but this was my first kind of big splurge. So this was a First Street glitter polish. As you can see there, it's like a really nice champagne -y silver. It's a bit more warm toned and it has both silver glitters and really fine hollow glitters. The packaging too of these gels is just something to behold. A lot of like the Korean gel products, the Japanese gel products, they really put a lot of effort into their packaging. Like this one here, you don't need to open it to know what color it is. It's all over the outside of the bottle so I can easily see which gel I'm grabbing and I don't have to open it or check the number. That's one coat. And again, it's just this really pretty silver gel. And I forgot, this one actually is magnetic. So it is a cat eye gel. 
the silver pigment the silver glitters are what are magnetized whereas the hollow glitters i do believe they just stay in place so as you can see the silver moves the hollow does not I kind of like that though because it makes for a really nice glittery cat eye effect. You can tell that the pigments here really move around a lot with the magnet and it's very easy to get the detail that you want. Up next is another first street gel. This one is more of like a jelly polish consistency, a semi jelly, and it is a nice burgundy red. I am always on the hunt for a good burgundy. I love this color. I think it looks great on almost everybody. And I was looking for one that was a bit more warm toned than this. I found this one was a little bit leaning on the side of purple, but when you're shopping online, it can be very hard to tell what the undertones are of different polishes and colors. Still really nice. You can see there it applies very well. This one is the color 179. From First Street, I also picked up a nice green. This is from the same collection, actually. The red, the green, and another color that I'll be showing. This one is color 180, and it's a really, really pretty dark emerald green. I use this for a Slytherin set that I made. You can see that on some of the shorts that I posted. I don't have a full video on that because that was before I was doing a lot of long form content, but it is up there on my channel and it's also on my Instagram. Instagram is a place where I post mostly pictures of sets. I don't do videos for every single set that I make, so if you're interested in seeing some of my other nail art, make sure to follow me on Instagram. But here's that color, it's just a really nice deep emerald green big fan it works really well it doesn't show that it goes on super evenly on the swatches here and that's because i was being cheap and painting on the underside so i wouldn't have to top coat any but i promise you they go on really evenly when you paint on the top of a nail there's no issues with any of that pooling this one here is a brown color from that same collection it was looking a little dusty um i don't know if maybe it wasn't the most popular and was hanging out on the shelves but it is the color 181 Again, the packaging on these polishes is just so nice. It's got that label that is embossed. And this is a brown. Now, I was hunting for a really nice, kind of cool toned, neutral brown, not too gray, but also not too yellow. I do like this color, although I will say it is a bit warmer than I've liked in terms of the color. So you can see here when it goes on with this first layer, it's more of like a toffee color, maybe like a coffee. I was looking for a slightly deeper, more cool toned brown. It's still really nice. It goes on evenly, just like the other colors in the same collection. But yeah, it is just a little bit more warm toned. And I say that in case you're looking for a brown, maybe you do want a warmer toned brown, or maybe you want a cool toned one. Shopping online for colors can be hard because again, you can't see those undertones, so hopefully something like this will help. I then picked up a number of gels from the brand From The Nail, or F-Gel. Zillaboo packages all their polishes really nicely. Everyone is in bubble wrap to make sure there's no breaking. These bottles are really nice quality. I think they're either like a porcelain or maybe a glass that's been coated in paint. But again, the color is right on the outside of the bottle so you can see it. They have this really nice gold label, it's gold embossing. So this is a lighter brown, and this is not necessarily a jelly color, but more of like a sheer milky color. This is a very cool toned brown, almost on the side of like a gray. I had gotten it because I had envisioned in my head this really pretty teddy bear set made with the tweed look. I just haven't gotten around to actually making it. I feel like I have so many ideas for nail looks that are rattling around in my head and unfortunately right now I don't have the time to do more than maybe one or two designs a week just with school. I teach high school so we're still in session and I am getting some Etsy orders which is awesome but that means a lot of my time goes to school and completing my Etsy orders first before I can play around with some nail art. So here's the number of that gel. It is from the nail number 88. 
Summer is coming up here really soon though, so I will have plenty more time to make videos and do the designs that I want to do. Also from the nail is this navy blue color. This is color 90. I believe this is from the same collection as that previous one. I will make sure to link all of the polishes down below in case you are interested in getting them. Hopefully they're still in stock because again, I am recording this after the fact or I'm doing the voiceover and the editing after the fact. So I purchased these in, I believe the end of December. So some things unfortunately might not be available, but I will try to link everything that is down below in the description. This is a really, really pretty navy blue. It is on the side of like a purple blue, almost like a periwinkle blue, not very much green in it at all. Need to really stop doing the swatches on the back of the swatch sticks. I do it because then I don't have to top coat them, but I don't think it does the colors justice. As you can see, there's that pooling around the edges. I promise I've used that color. It really does not pool on the edges. Then I also got a deeper blue color. So this is definitely more on the purple side. I wanted a couple blue options because I wanted to do a Ravenclaw set. I had this whole idea of nail designs based on all of the different houses, but again, not really enough time to do that. So I've only done Ravenclaw and Slytherin so far. I have taken the test, the online test, quite a few times because I'm actually a huge Harry Potter nerd. I have read all the books multiple times. It's actually kind of like a Christmas tradition of mine is just to sit down and read all of the Harry Potter books over Christmas break. It's It brings a lot of nostalgia and joy to me now that I'm an adult because I don't really get to read for fun anymore. Now I'm usually reading for school, for work, so it's always nice to sometimes sit down and just read something that is relaxing and purely for entertainment. This color here is another really pretty blue that is slightly darker than the last, a bit more purple tone as well. And then I got a magnetic gel from From the Nail 2. This one is more of like a champagne-y pink shade. The bottle here is pretty accurate to the color itself. It's super shiny, super glittery. The magnetic particles are not too big, but they're also not super small. So it's less of a shimmery effect, more of a glittery effect. But I do love this color. I love a really good rose gold, almost like warm toned silver. This is a perfect mix of that for me. As you can see here, the particles magnetize very well. It has a mix of magnetized particles and some loose glitter in there. And you can see that it just works very quickly with the magnet. You can shift it around how you'd like. And the effect is very clear. One thing that I dislike with magnetic gel is if the effect is too subtle. It kind of ruins the point for me. Might as well get a shimmer gel. So these ones worked very nicely. I highly recommend the magnet gels from F Gel and First Street. So this is actually a whole collection that I ordered. This is the Tiny Sunset Collection. It is not in the right box. So one thing to note if you're ordering from Zillaboo or even Sweetie Nail Supply is you only get the original packaging if you order the set right at the start. Otherwise, they tend to send you the set in whatever packaging that they have. So the packaging is limited time. But this is the Sunset Collection and it's a gorgeous mix of vibrant pastel colors. I wanted to get this because I thought it was a great variety of shades. It has all shades from the rainbow, so it was a good starting point for me and my Korean gel collection. I believe it was also on sale, and uh, your girl likes a good sale, um, especially somebody who's working on a teacher's salary. You know, we take those deals where we can find them. So this is the first color. It's this really pretty bubblegum pink. For this collection, I was just doing half the swatch stick because I wanted to not have too many swatch sticks to hang up. Right now, I don't have the best storage for them. They're just kind of like hanging from pins on my wall. So once I get better storage, I can get better swatch sticks. But for now, I'm doing two colors per. This is the next color and it's like a nice, almost rusted pink, like a terracotta color. 
These are all semi jellies, so they're a milky consistency, semi sheer. I do really love polishes of this consistency. I just think that they're so easy to build upon, to layer colors with. They usually blend super nicely because they are a bit more transparent. I'm a big fan of polishes with this kind of consistency. This yellow is a super bright, sunny yellow. It is almost like a yellow orange. So it's a lot deeper than this bottle makes it look. There it is. These bottles are really cute as well. They have little stars on the top of the caps. The bottle themselves feel very high quality. They have that matte finish to them. I just love that Korean and Japanese gel brands tend to put a lot of thought into their packaging. I just think if you're gonna sell me something that is, you know, $20 a bottle, it better have some nice packaging. As a set though, I think this was, um, like 180 or something like that. And I got it with an extra discount. So, I don't know, it came out to something around like 18 or $17 a bottle, which isn't the cheapest, but it's also not the craziest I've seen. Typically, though, I think tiny gels go for $20 to $22 a bottle. Now, I'll be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of this color. <laughs> it's a little bit like um, split pea soup, maybe. It's a light olivey green, so not my favorite, but hey, uh, I wanted to get the whole set. It just made more sense for me to do that instead of buying all of them individually with the sale. This color, though, I do really love. This is a beautiful, like, seafoam, teal, greenish blue. I think this is perfect for any sort of sea-themed set. It's almost like a sage color as well, but really nice. I'm a big fan of that teal. And then this is like a sky blue. A little more on the aqua side still. So it's number 20, as you can see here. And it's just a really pretty aqua robin's egg blue. The bottle itself is a little bit more cool toned than the actual polish. I did like this collection because it gave a nice selection of shades. Typically with the pinks, the blues, and the purples, there were multiple shades to choose from. It was really only like the yellow and the green that only had one shade. This here is more of a true robin's egg sky blue. So the last one was leaning a bit more on the teal side. This one is more on the like purple periwinkle side. As you can see here, it's just a really nice light baby blue. This one I will say is a bit lighter in terms of the actual color tone, a little bit more pastel. And then this purple I am in love with. It's this really pretty lavenderish purple, although it's a bit deeper than like a true lavender. It is quite cool toned. I used this recently on a set that was like a butterfly Y2K set. That video is also up on my channel if you want to check it out and come watch me work. Yeah, I just, I love that color. It's the perfect purple, in my eyes at least. I used to be a really big purple fan and I would wear exclusively purple at the age of, you know, seven, eight, nine. And there was one vacation that my family went on where I was lucky enough to get to go horseback riding. So it was my first time. The instructor was very kind, but he called me Barney because I was wearing all purple. He was fun though, he, he was quite the character made everybody laugh and feel very comfortable with their horse riding experience. We were in Nevada, so we were, horse ride we were horseback riding through the desert. This is the next purple shade. This one is more of like a warm toned purple. Again, this collection was nice because it gave you some different options with your colors. It had like some warm toned pinks, some warm toned purples, more cool toned blues, lots to choose from. And then this is the last color in that collection. 
It is another purple shade, but this one is quite a bit deeper than the others. It is more on the warm toned side. Almost like a grape purple. Mm, I guess it is more of a cooler purple. The bottle is a bit more warm toned, but the actual polish is just a deeper cool toned purple. Again, kind of like a grape color. I think it's really pretty. I like the other one better, the one that's a little bit brighter. This one is a bit more dull, a little bit more muted, I would say, even though the actual shade of it is slightly darker. But still, it's a nice purple, and it's nice that you do have options here. So as you can see, the one on the right is more vibrant, lighter, and the one on the left is a little bit more dull. So here are all my swatches. These were the First Tree and the F gels. I went for like a mix of darker colors and some glitters. Again, I was trying to go for a Harry Potter theme. I wanted to do all the houses, but I've only gotten through two. So I got through Slytherin and through Ravenclaw. Oh, I think I forgot to say this earlier. I've taken the test multiple times and I am a Ravenclaw tied with a Hufflepuff. I've taken it four times and I got both houses twice. And then this is the Tiny Sunset Collection. Again, just a really nice array of pastel sunset colors. It has enough variety that I felt getting the whole bundle would be a great start to my Korean gel collection. I've added to it since then with some lighter colors, but these felt like a good starting point. And I actually used three of the colors for a Kirby set that I just made. That video will be up hopefully later on this week. It is a really cute Kirby set with 3D sculpted elements that I did almost all by hand. And I used the Sunset Collection to do a nice rainbow fade, a nice little rainbow blend. And I will say they blended together pretty well. It took some getting used to with how the colors blended. And I actually found the best way to do it was just with the brush included. So really easy to work together to create a nice blend of colors especially since it's from the same set they all kind of match in terms of their shade and their consistency in tone so those colors just work really nicely together here i'm setting out all of my polishes these were the darker shades you have your first street polishes i did like the first street they were somewhat cheaper i think than like the tiny polishes or the from the nail polishes so I think First Street is less expensive option for the F gel or the tiny polishes. Although I found they perform just as good. I've only used them a couple times. I used the red and I used the green and the blue. Uh, or no, sorry, the blue is the from the nail. But from First Street, I've used the red and the green and they worked really well. They self-leveled very nicely. The color payoff was very even something that is hard to do with jelly polishes. So I did appreciate that. And then I'm setting out here the Sunset Collection. You can tell that I filmed this back in December or in January because the flowers on my desk are actually my Christmas set. <laughs> I have the white poinsettias and the little red poinsettias with the pine cones and the fir trees. So it's a little late, but I still wanted to get this video out in case any of you were looking to try Korean products and you wanted some reviews on various colors and brands. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you like my channel, please do subscribe for more hauls and nail art videos, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.